today's ride. Take you through some places in Vegas you would never go to or you didn't know existed. So we're going to take the 215 east hook up to the 15 and we're going to get off on Apex a road called Apex and we'll head south on Las Vegas Boulevard North Las Vegas Boulevard so this is going to be the opposite end of the strip the strips on the south end and this is on the north end so I'll take you through there and then we'll take a trip through downtown North Las Vegas it's the older part of uh, North Las Vegas all right here we go apex coming up apex exit 58 now this air force base get off on here here's a spot on the right and in front of us where a lot of locals like to come to uh ride their dirt bikes and atvs here in town This is, this is the only designated OHV area in Las Vegas that I know of, other than just going out to the desert. You got a lot of uh, tour companies up here taking tourists to ride ATVs and uh, side-by-sides. It's a pretty big area. It's just north of now this Air Force Base. There's also a sand area in the back. There's a lot of sand. It's not it's not like a dunes. It's not like going to Dumont Dunes or Glamis. But you know if you want sand in the Las Vegas area, this is probably the only place to come to. There's a lot of trails. Also, there's a lot of rocks, though. On the weekends, uh, it's pretty it's pretty packed over here. Like I said, a lot of locals come out here to ride their ATVs and and dirt bikes. All right, we're headed south on North Las Vegas Boulevard. You can see off in the distance is a strip downtown and the strip and that's south las vegas boulevard it's a little dusty today uh the wind's kicking up kicking up a lot of dust most of the time in big cities you know you'll see a lot of smog here in vegas when the air is not so clear it's it's probably going to be windy that day and they're just kicking up a lot of the dust from the desert. There are the tour companies. And uh, also, if you didn't know, this is BLM property, Bureau of Land Management, which is about 90% of the state, which is pretty cool because it's public land. And if you want to ride your dirt bike or your ATV, I mean, you can ride in most places unless it's marked no OHV, OHV vehicles. And coming up is now this Air Force Base. You can see the runway. And you got an uh, area over here to the left. I think that's uh, known as Area 2. They got um, Red Horse over there. Uh, I think their special operations is over there. And maybe uh, they keep their munitions over there. I'm not really sure. But now this Air Force Base, it's pretty big. As you know, there's, there's the whole 
Nellis range that you know goes further up north to Tonopah they're all numbered you know of course you know the famous area 51 oh there's a uh, someone left their lawnmower there it's one thing when you live in the desert a lot of people like to dump their trash in it here in the desert, especially like a lot of their big items. Uh, bed mattresses, dressers, TVs, old TVs. They'll just pull over and dump it on the side. Hopefully the government picks it up, cleans it for them. I don't know why they just can't take it to the dump. All right, on the right, we're passing uh, the Las Vegas Speedway. This is the back side of the Las Vegas Speedway where they have like um, all the NASCAR races are held over here. There's some uh, people watching for uh, airplanes landing and taking off. A lot of people like to come here and stand here on the right side of the road over here. They'll park and they'll take uh, pictures of the military planes that land and take off. Some of them are pretty cool. You know, you see all types of, all types of jets taking off from over here. Especially like a lot of the stealth fighters, the stealth bombers, the stealth fighter jets. Oh yeah, you'll see them over here if you just hang out when they run their operations. Now over here to the right, what I was saying earlier, are a lot of the warehouses. And most of them are occupied by Amazon. If you can tell the white and blue and the gray Amazon colors. Yeah, there's a whole bunch over here on the right side and they're they are huge huge warehouses there's some planes i hope you can see them looks like a cargo plane helicopter one of those uh janet planes take people up to the areas so now that's on the left and here we have uh, a portion of the Clark County Detention Center on the right. It's called the North Valley Complex. It's like a overflow facility for the county jail, which is uh, in downtown Las Vegas. nice bike I really like those bikes those uh, those scrambler style bikes those uh, retro bikes I've been thinking about getting one I saw um, that Indian FTR that looked pretty sweet I've been looking it up on YouTube other people's videos also the Yamaha um, that Yamaha I forget what it's called it's like a 900 and then uh, the MT also, uh, something like the Honda Rebel. I've been looking at those bikes. They look pretty sweet. You know, especially to ride around town. Don't get me wrong. I love my Harley. But it seems like when you have one motorcycle, you always want another one. So I've been looking at those. Let me know if you um, if you like those bikes or those style of bikes. Oh, I got a fire truck. Hopefully, I can get back into this road. It's so one thing in uh, Las Vegas, and a lot of people 
they don't like to pull over for uh, emergency vehicles here I don't know why but and I noticed that a lot here in Las Vegas I don't know if you can see my mirrors behind me but I was looking behind me when I was uh, trying to get over to my right and I didn't see no cars pulling off to the right behind me Alright, we're passing on Ellis Boulevard. So if you come to Vegas or you live here, even a lot of people who live here don't even come up to this area. There's a homeless camp. Dude built himself a big old house over there. It's over there barbecuing. There's an old part of North Las Vegas and there's a new part. And the new part is mostly up there towards uh, the 215. A lot of new developments, new houses, new communities. This is an older area over here. And as we get closer to downtown North Las Vegas, it gets even, even older. So we'll go check that out. Alright, we're coming up to Lamb Boulevard, crossing Lamb. Lamb Boulevard was named after uh, a sheriff of Clark County. His name, his last name was Lamb. I guess back in the, I don't know what what years those were 60s 70s I guess maybe maybe earlier there was a, a show on TV before I forget the name of the show but it starred uh, Dennis Quaid and he played Sheriff Lamb parent from Clark County and then of course Nellis Boulevard is named for Nellis Air Force Base Alright, some notable places up here are uh, College of Southern Nevada. There's a uh, North Campus that's right back there off Cheyenne and Pecos. We just passed Cheyenne. They have a campus up here. It's a pretty big campus. Not as big as uh, not as big as the campus on West Charleston which is more in town in Las Vegas but it's still a big campus see a little you know some older plazas older buildings around here oh, I didn't even know there was a Sunco over there Sunoco Sunoco famous for uh, racing fuel There's a trademark of uh, Las Vegas, Roberto's Taco Shop. There's about a hundred of those in town. Sweet velocity. Look at that thing. Here's another one. Is that a Grom? Honda Grom? Dude was flying. All right, coming up on our left here is Broad Acres Swap Meet. This place has been here forever. It's the only swap meet in town. You're gonna find that up here on uh, North Las Vegas Boulevard and Pecos. They're getting ready for the weekend. It's Thursday. I think they open uh, Friday night. Saturday and Sunday but it's a staple up here in North Las Vegas Poker Palace the famous Poker Palace the locals casino really old casino 
place has been here for years. I thought maybe COVID would have shut it down, but nope. Still got that T-bone special. All right, we're uh, hitting downtown North Las Vegas. Here is, uh, you got their justice center here on the left, along with their police headquarters uh, up there. The only tall building here in North Las Vegas, City Hall. And if you take um, the streets to the right or to the left, you'll just run into um, residential neighborhoods. But this is the main, the main street of North Las Vegas, even though there's no main street over here. Here's the famous Silver Nugget, passing that. I think that Jack in the Box burned down twice. They've always rebuilt it. We'll make a left here on Lake Mead, which is also the heart of uh, North Las Vegas. This is the main intersection up here in North Las Vegas. You could say this is the, this is the heart of it all. Everything centers around this intersection. All right, you can see down the street is uh, the famous Jerry's Nugget. Another popular casino up here in North Las Vegas. All the casinos up here, they're all old. They've been here since the 60s, 70s. Going strong. We're gonna be, we're heading east on East Lake Mead Boulevard. Like I said, um, this is a older area, the original North Las Vegas. Got um, the only uh, hospital up here North Vista Hospital up here on the right the only other hospital up here in North Las Vegas is going to be the military hospital on the base and um, the VA which is on the 215 and Lamb or 215 and Pecos I'm sorry but North Vista is the only hospital up here in this in this city So the city motto for North Las Vegas is, is the friendliest city. That's the motto. And uh, they have a, their logo is um, the stealth fighter. Population of North Las Vegas, I think, is about 150,000, and it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big town. Goes all the way up there to um, to Apex, the um, the exit we took off the highway. A lot of the North Las Vegas property goes way up there. 
it's kind of split between the county and then and North Las Vegas a lot of those um, warehouses those Amazon warehouses up there they're on North Las Vegas property trying to build the city up generate some income because uh, COVID really hit this uh, city pretty hard COVID and uh, and the previous uh, mayors they weren't running the city right So from east and west, uh, North Las Vegas, parts of North Las Vegas started on uh, Rancho, a road named Rancho, and um, on the west, and um, Pecos on the east. Those are the east and west boundaries. And then to the south, we got Bruce, and then all the way up to Apex, they got some property up there. Here's the border. I'll make a left over here and uh, we'll do a U turn. I wanted to take um, Las Vegas Boulevard more south and show you some of the sites on, um, on North Las Vegas Boulevard. Alright, so we, I came back west on East Las Vegas Boulevard and we're going to go back south on uh, Las Vegas Boulevard and that'll prob probably be it because uh, that's pretty much all there is to see. Mostly everything else is uh, residential and neighborhoods. Hopefully my battery lasts flight's taking a long time. There's a dude over there doing card tricks. Ooh, I just saw it behind his hand. He dropped the card. I would have turned down one of the other streets, but um, Rancho High School is down there, and uh, they're getting out about now, so there's going to be a lot of kids walking around. So I decided to come this way. Put this down. Here we go. Motel, pawn shop. Pawn shop's been there a long time. Long time. Also there's the famous Palomino Strip Club. Doing a photo shoot over there. That club's been here a long time. Here's Jerry's Nugget. Staple up here. And then here's where the boulevard splits between uh, North Las Vegas Boulevard and Main Street. There's another Amazon warehouse right there, right in the middle of everything. So once we get on Main Street, we're going to be on the city of Las Vegas property. 
which is now. We're now in the city of Las Vegas versus the city of North Las Vegas. I'll go down to Washington, hang a right, and get back on the freeway. But um, this is where most of the um, the charity work is done down here. There's a lot of homeless people down here. If you can see on the left side, they're all waiting in front of Catholic Charities to get in line to get something to eat and a place to sleep for the night. I think uh, Catholic Charities takes in the first 500 people and every night and feeds them and gives them a place to shower and um, sleep for the night. But first 500, so they start lining up pretty early and the line gets pretty long. Got shade tree over here. That's for uh, women looking for single women looking for shelter. This place can get really busy with homeless people. And then up here on the right, this is going to be a Native American reservation. It's a Paiute reservation. It's real small. There's several houses in there. Of course, the uh, smoke shop right here is a uh, new Wu cannabis market. Wow, they built a new one right there. Jeez, that's the biggest one in Nevada. Now they got a new place. But I, I, I know they passed a law for uh, to have it for the lounges, the marijuana lounges. Straight ahead, that's downtown Las Vegas right there. Circa, the Cal, Fremont, Plaza, all them casinos down there. Binion's Horseshoe, less than a mile away from here, maybe half a mile. And we're on Washington, and I'm getting on the 15, headed back north, where we came from. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. These are just some places where people, visitors to Las Vegas probably would never come, never see. And most, and some people who live here don't ever come up to these areas unless you lived up here or worked up here.